The next thing you want to do, you can get a little jazzy with the video. You can add some special effects. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to tap effects. So they have all these things. They have the hot column. These are the ones that people use the most. And then they have beginning or end or way that you can end out your video or begin it. This is all the effects here. Then you have new. Now, sometimes they introduce new um, effects that you can use on your videos. And so there's a very great amount of things that you can do to spice up your content. This is dynamic. Some of this makes me dizzy just sitting here looking at it, to be honest. But you can use all of these different things. Just want to show you what it all looks like. Lighting. And I use lighting a lot because it kind of makes your picture pop out. The one I like, I like the glowing lines. See, that's how glowing lines looks. Kind of like outlines and lights up everything. This is flashy. See how it adds that little extra pizzazz. This one's Neon 7. So, like, if you get the gist of what I'm saying, so you can do a lot with that. Then the next thing you can try also is the mood. Mood has all these pretty little um, effects that you can add to it, like, say, these little petals. Those are cute. So you can add little things to make it special. And this is retro right here, kind of with the little TVs. Um, so they have like different scenes there. Then you also have sale. I don't really use this too much. I don't really care, but um, it is accessible to you. You can use it. This is basic. I use basic a lot. I like these wave. This is my one of my favorite. Kind of like brings your videos to life. And you have all types of selections that you can use. This is glitch. Glitch, I'm not really into because I don't have content where I need to do all that. Um, maybe one day, I don't know. But that's this is what glitch does. It glitches. Okay, this is love. So you can use any of those. To add a little, you know, zest to your your uh, video. And then you have celebrate, and these are like basically for like holidays. But like even some of them, you can still use them. But you know, I wouldn't use the Christmas tree in the middle of July. You know, something like that. Um, I like to use this one here, the golden dust. I like that. This looks really pretty. And then you can also use, they have cartoon ones here. Um, I really don't use these too much because um, I don't have that type of content, but you can use that. Then it's blur. You can blur your videos as well. Particle. I do use these a lot. Bling. These are all the bling. You can put on there to make everything look all sparkly and pretty. So it's it's a lot that you can do. And then VHS, you know, you know about VHS, y'all now. Y'all, you know y'all had all of them had a VHS player back in the day. It has that little look to it. But um you can use these as well. Nature. There's like, like snowflakes and petals and leaves and things, rain that you can use, or water. Like if I was to put water, it looks like we're inside of water. And then they have grid, like a lot of, like you can do stuff like that. You can do that, or you can do this. Now Duke looks really weird in this picture, but... You can use that as well. And then YouTube, um, 
like for your outro, your intro, you might need something to open up your video of what you're presenting. And even with Shotcut, they do throw these little things out, little like how many users use these um, effects in their videos as well. So I'm going to just back out of that. And then I'll show you the text. So with the text, now you can use the AI text, um, but I really don't use that too much. But sometimes I just use the regular text. If I want to type, you hit text. And then this is where you're going to enter your words that you want to say into this box. It says enter text. So I'm going to type, hello, Duke. And you'll see it on the screen as I'm typing it. And then what I'm going to do, I just hit the back button to get out of there. But you can change that. Like you can hit this here. You can put this one or that one to change it. I'm tapping all these little color things. It says text. You can change the color of the text like that. And you can also move it up to where you want it to be like this or you can hit this arrow and make it big or you can throw it in the trash if you don't like it so you can put that down as well hit that green uh check mark and it's there okay so now you see that i have the hello duke in the text and you can just leave it right there if that's where you want to put some words on your screen so now i'm going to hit this button to go back and then they have um says popular style they have little like emoji little things on here that you can throw in there that's extra like here it says like i can throw that in there like this video you all make sure you like this video you can also and then you make sure you hit the green square here off to the right in the middle of the phone in the middle <laughs> in the middle of the screen hit that that just makes it stay and then it has auto captions so you can um actually for the auto captions it says video language so it'll let you do whatever language you want your video in so i want mine in english so i'm going to keep it there and then or you can translate another language because some people want to see your content, but they don't understand what we're saying. So you can translate it for your viewers or um, so that they can also be able to see what it is that you're saying. Even though you're talking in English, you can have it on the bottom of the screen so they can see it. So you can also um, change the way the words come across. So I'm just going to pick one that where it said style. And I can pick one like this. So we're going to do this. It's uploading. Now transcribing what is in the video. And now it's creating the auto captions. So it goes through a couple stages before it's done. Okay, now, as you look at the screen, you can see where the caption, where it starts at the bottom here, is lit up like a different color blue. This is where all your text is from what it just transcribed, what everything that you said in the video. Now, Pip, and you can either add a sticker. So let's look at the stickers. So you can put a little heart in there that's winking. Or you can go right here where it says emoji and it moves. Subscribe. You can put subscribe. Thanks for watching. Follow. And you can just, you know, move it around here. You can make it larger, smaller. You can do that. You can hit the trash can. Or you can hit, they have a lot of little options here. They got subscribe to, 
apricots, apricots like that. You can add a little YouTube button in there. Or if you have a TikTok video, you can add that in there. If you want to get rid of it or if you want to make it, you can turn it any type of way to, to fit the way you want on your screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this. If I want to get rid of those, hit the trash can. Hit the tap it first, then hit the trash can so that you can remove those images off of there. Now, as far as the overlay, you're gonna type, you're gonna hit add overlay. So you're gonna tap it. And let's say I wanna put this canary melon in here. So I'm gonna tap this and then the melon is sitting right in front of the video. And I can make it smaller, sit it off to the right, and it can be in the video. Like I usually do these type of videos, especially when I'm doing like my Timu um, hauls. I'll, pr I'll put the object there and the price to show people what it looks like. It depends on how I feel. If I feel up to doing that, I will. Then you can also delete it. Since it's lit up, I'm going to hit the trash can and throw it away. Now, the next thing is you can use all types of filters here and they have different ones here so you can make the picture look different. Kind of brightens it up or it can look like Sleepy Hollow, Technicolor. So you can do a lot of different things with this. Uh, if you're into that Harry Potter, which I'm not, but let's keep let's let's move on. This is the Joker one. So it's there's a lot of different filters you can use. They have here the Pot Hollywood film. That's that portrait retro monochrome, um, Kodachrome. There's a plenty of things you can use, and it has. You can adjust button, you can adjust it to make it brighter, or you can have it a little bit less bright or just keep it in the middle. Let me just put it back because I don't want to. All right, right there. Just it's normal color that you took the picture in. And you can just change it and hit apply to all or reset if you don't like it. And then you can come out of there. Okay, so the next thing is the canvas. Now, Sometimes, like, depending on how you hold your camera, right now this is like a portrait-like shape and good for shorts, but um, there's different canvases that you can use. Like, TikTok is pretty much the same as a YouTube short. It's the 9 by 16. It's a little bit, it brings it up a little bit to, towards you, this one here, because I had the original. That's the original. But if I hit the 9 by 16, it gives me that view, which is still fine. Now, the 16 by 9, like when you do your long form videos, they will look like that. And you won't be able to get all of your video in that picture. This is one by one. And this is uh, Instagram um, that uses this type of format. And then they have these other ones. This is 4 by 3, 3 by 4. I guess you could get away a little bit with 3 by 4 but you probably won't be able to see everything. This is Facebook. This one is the 2.3 5 by 1 form. And this is 2 by 1. And this is 5 by 8. Sometimes, like when I need to put, I would have to show you a different form. Let me see. You can do a zoom. You can like zoom out. You can put fill or fit, and you can do that, or you can do original, fill, or whatever you choose to do. You can also add a background. So I can pick a color, and it'll go on there, but because the way this is sitting right now, it's not going to work. So maybe if I change the canvas, let me try the canvas. Let me go to the background and put it in. So it's not working that way, but it depends on how your your um, background is. Um, if you have any room for a background, usually it's when you see those black bars, but 
it's not doing it. I'm going to back out of this. Okay, so you can use that as well. You can change the colors and everything. So pretty much, that's pretty much it with this. Um, if you want to see all the tools, you know, hit that, edit, and then you can do it. Um, I don't really mess with these here. I guess you could just uh, add extra layers to this. I'm not familiar with this, nor am I familiar with this diamond here. It doesn't really do anything, really. Um, you can also do animation. Like here, you have in, out, and combo. You can change it. A mess, dude. You can do that or out. It's so many, so many ways to make your video really interesting and draw people to your channel. Okay, and now you can do trim or you can just push it in and trim it. Get that. Or you can do speed. Now, this here says curve. I'm not really familiar with this. So what I do is normal. I'll go to that option and I'll advance it to make it faster. Actually, this is a little funny, though. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to keep it. Okay. So this is Duke in uh, fast forward here. And then... This, that's the speed and then this is crop so you might want to crop your your picture so you can do that as well these little bars you can move it in out make it small you can change the form you can rotate it and you can also see that these other um, canvases like we saw on the other tool you can change it you know like that so you have, there's ways to change things. Um, you don't necessarily have to deal with that. You can mirror, do it that way. Um, you can flip it upside down, flip. You can rotate. And then fit to fill as well. So all those things are necessary to make your video you can go back. So yeah, I really like using this app. You can also delete here. You can delete here or delete right there. And this is the AI effects. Now I've never really used the AI effects. Let's just tap and see what happens. Okay, may change aspect ratio. Let's see what that does. So that's the way it changes. It changes the way the video. It's another effect that you can use. You hit the check mark and it's all through the whole video. So it actually made the video funny, even though I've got all this in there. Yeah. So what you can do now for the volume, I showed you guys to go up and down. You can turn it up loud. Okay, and then we did the filter. This says balance. It kind of like enhances your your video. They have a cutout. Like you can remove somebody or you can put a mosaic. Like I sometimes use a mosaic to like blot out stuff I don't want people to see. Or, you know, I just blot it out. Or you can cut out the person too. And then mask, I never too much use this. Let's just touch it and see what happens. Okay, so I guess it can make your make it round, your, your, your video round. You can change the shape of your video like that. It almost reminds me of crop the cropping tool as well. So we'll back out of that. This is the Chrome key. I've never used 
the chrome key to drag to pick a color. I'm not dragging nothing. So I'm going to back out of there. Um, copy. I can add an extension of this video. So actually this video is, this video is 13. It's about a minute and 33 seconds. If I wanted to add more to this, it will copy this whole video and add it like that. So you'll have a longer video. I wanted to show you what it all was, how to work most of this. <laughs> um, but these are some of the options. Some of the stuff I don't use, some of it I do. But for the most part, I hope that you were able to understand this. Um, and hopefully it'll get you started in the right way, in the right place. So now what I'm going to do now, before I go through this, this little graduation hat right here. This is um, Shot Cut Team. They have like facts and questions, basic tutorial um, that you can look up information. You can use that and you can hit the back button or the arrow here to go back. And if you want to save this video, you just hit export. And then it'll start exporting the video and make sure you don't exit the page or lock the screen. Wait till it's finished until you um, close out of this screen because you don't want to mess up your video and it's not be fully saved. Now, I've saved the video. Now, another thing that you can do this will just show your edit edit time, total time, and how many videos you've created. Um, you can share to whatever you want to share. They also have AI description. It's an AI powered media title and description. So generated to maximize engagement. Sometimes I use this because it really helps me put my words together. And so what you do is you tap that. And it says, simply AI description generator, simply upload your video content and specify the platform. Trained AI will craft captivating titles and descriptions to maximize engagement. Where to post your video? So what you're going to do is kind of scroll up. You see how they have TikTok, Instagram, Reels, YouTube Shorts. So I just keep going down to the end, tap see more. And then I go to YouTube feed. So you're going to tap that. And then it'll say, what is your video about? And this, this is how you type in the AI um, generator. You put, sorry, I'm a little slow. I'm a YouTube content creator in my video is about Playtime with Duke. I'm going to put with my mom's dog, Duke. Okay, so once you do that, then you'll hit generate. Okay. And now you have your title. It says fun play time with mom with mom's dog Duke. Now you don't have to choose this option. Um, you can choose another result, but since this is only one result, then you only have one result for this. And then you have the introduction. And it says, uh, join me in this heartwarming video where I spend the day playing with my mom's adorable dog, Duke. From fetch to belly rubs, Duke is the ultimate. And then it won't let me scroll down. But if you don't like what you have here, you can always regenerate it. Or you can adjust, adjust the input that you put in there. So you just tap it. And then if you want to copy it, you just hit copy if you have like a notepad in your phone, just copy it right there. It'll have like hashtags and everything that you can add to your video to have, you know, and hashtags really help because they draw people to your channel.
because sometimes when people look for certain things, certain words pop out. And if there's a hashtag for it, they will show you all those videos that has those hashtags so that you can make your selection when watching videos. Okay, and then it has at the bottom, you can share your video to all these platforms. At the bottom, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of uh, social media platforms that you can use. And it's up to you where you want to post your video. So I hope I didn't take you on a rabbit trail with this video. But just to give you an understanding of how to use this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to put turn on your post notifications. I thank you guys. So much for your patience in me doing this video. It was a very, very difficult task for me, despite everything I'm dealing with. So I appreciate your patience and your support on this channel. I thank you, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.